What's up, guys? Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Hopefully, everybody having a good week. Um, I'm over here right now just trying to kill a little bit of time before I have to go and pick up my brother. Today's mission is we are going to return the Wolverine statue that I reviewed this past week back to my buddy Pedro, and he lives down in Miami, so I got a good long ride. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm sketching a little bit. I'm trying to try to just formulate an idea right here. So since Stanley passed away this past week, you know, I've been I've been searching for shirts, but I haven't really found anything that I'm all that excited about, you know. So I want to do a shirt that has uh, Stanley representing all of a lot of the heroes that, you know, that he created or helped create um, or, you know, that are part of Marvel that just represent to me him, you know, so. Anyway, so what, what I want to have him doing is, you know, in a Captain America style pose, holding up the shield in one hand, the other hand with the uh, with Thor's hammer, you know, Spider-Man shirt on, Iron Man arm or legs or maybe the Iron Man chest. I'm, I'm still trying to debate which one I want to do there. Um, and, uh, you know, looking like he's yelling up in the air and, you know, yelling Excelsior because, you know, that's his... Um, that's his, uh, his his name, you know, his thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's um, that that's that's what I was thinking about doing. So I'm, right now I'm just roughing out, you know, a sketch right here, so that when I get back from my trip, that maybe I can continue on with it. So I just want to show you guys real quick, you know, what I got going, and you know, hopefully I'll have this done by tonight, and I can get it uh, to my Teespring site and make a shirt for myself. Obviously, because I can't do it for sale. It's because, you know, copyright infringements and all that shit. So, yeah, well, anyway, here is a rough idea of what I got going on. So, check it out. That's my idea so far. And then hopefully you guys can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. I don't know. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Uh, I'll take and figure out what else I got to do. Anyway, so let's get to what this idea is about here today. So let me show you what I got going on. The problems of collectors, right? All the problems we have. <laughs> Biggest problem. That um well, he's ain't the biggest problem. He's my best, one of my favorites. Biggest problem is boxes. <laughs> Like the sweet sweet sound of hemi in the morning all right let's get this going all right so we are headed right now to go pick up my brother see my neighbors are already starting to put out their christmas lights and stuff this is ridiculous thanksgiving isn't even here although my wife has asked me to do that i just haven't gotten to it yet so it's gonna happen you know god listen to the wife happy wife happy life right right i know y'all feel me so yeah so I, that's probably gonna be my mission tomorrow. Put up Christmas lights because I think we're going out of town uh, for Thanksgiving, and you know it'd be cool to come home, have the lights already set and ready to go, right? All right. So, like I stated earlier, we are headed to Miami, my hometown. Actually, further south than my hometown. My boy Pedro lives way the hell down there. I mean, this dude is practically in the Keys. He's that far bound. So, yeah. It's gonna be a long, long, long ride. Yeah, we're returning the Wolverine statue. This is the Lone Wolf and Cub. I don't know if you guys saw the review earlier this past week when I put it up. It's a pretty cool statue. It's um, it's unique in that it's uh, it's more of a samurai-based uh, piece. So the it 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 looks cool in that sense. You know, it's something something unique, something different, which I thought was kind of cool. I'll leave a card up here so you guys can get to it. If you guys want to check it out, um, it shows. It's more based on the set on the manga Lone Wolf and Cub, and you know it shows the the uh, character Ito Origami, I believe is the guy's name, and his son, and it's a big like it's kind of like a diorama sort of, but not really. There's not really other people in it, but there's like body parts all over the place and blood, and you know it's very action and dynamic, you know. So I like that. It's kind of cool. 
And then the other aspect I liked about it was that it has some switch out parts for, for uh, Wolverine. So that you have the option to link them look that way. But, um, you know, they had a little bit of mess ups. Paint was eh. And, the, and then they had this huge seam on the neck. I was like, what the hell, man? Well, he got decapitated. <laughs> but if you turn it in just the right way, it looks pretty cool, actually. So it's not too bad, especially if you're looking at it from a normal viewing distance. Now, if you get up on top of it and you start looking at all the little imperfections in the paint and all that stuff, then, you know, you can critique it to all hell. But, you know, it, it wasn't too bad. You know, I really appreciate him uh, letting me check it out. And he says he's got another one for me to take a look at when I get down there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Finally get into my brother's house. And I'm about, about 19 minutes late. <laughs> I told him I was gonna be there like right on time, man. But dude, it is so damn hard to get on time when you got kids, man. You are always running late to everything. It feels like. Anyway, I'm gonna be here in just a minute. John, when you watch this video, sorry, bro. <laughs> so my brother right now is giving me shit for being late. Yeah. You know. Told me. Told me. Because my man, my man's always late to everything, but he's gonna get on my ass about being. Told late. me, told me, yo, I'm gonna be there at 7:30, bro. I'm like 7:30, bro. It's fucking early, bro. Get here. Like, well, then he gave me shit hey, about it, so then, then I decided. Then, no, then, I, then he gave me. I was ready for eight o'clock. I you, was ready for eight o'clock. You gave me shit about it because you told me no 7:30. So try much. to be eightish. I'm eightish. This is eightish. Yeah. It's eightish. Okay. It's eightish. All right, so I got the Broheim in the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Broheim. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, man. Sorry I'm late, bro. I don't care. You're good, man. <laughs> Shit. Second time you told me you got to be up at this time. Luckily, I, I was know. late the last time. I know. I know. Getting old, man. But, hey, I I'm still close to the time I said that I was going to be there. No, I think this is a reasonable time. It's a reasonable time? It's a big yes. I don't know, man. When I say that, I'm going to do something, like, like, I think Pedro told me he had some things he had to do uh, throughout the day. So I don't like keeping people from what they got to do. Damn, I keep forgetting you got all these fucking speed bumps in your damn neighborhood, bro. There's two speed bumps. All right, two. That's two more than I have in my entire neighborhood. That's true, <laughs> but you got like 40 stop signs. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a gas station. Wait, are we taking 95 or turn buddy? All right. What are we closer to? 95. We're taking 95. You don't got your seatbelt on, bro. Safety first, man. Safety first, bro. They're gonna be right at a. Man, you're lucky that Scarlet is in the car. She would have gone on your ass about that shit. Wow. Let me tell you, if I forget to put the uh, uh, you're in a girl, it like goes fanatic. Oh shit. Yeah. Tell me about the story again that we're going to. Oh, Man at Arms. So, uh, Man at Arms is this. Um, it's like a toy store. Kind of, not a toy store. It's about, about figures. Um, you know. Small action toys, family action figures, that kind of thing. I think they have some statues. I know I've seen, uh, they do some of their own videos sometimes, or they, they used to, anyway. And they did a recording of, uh, of Kota Bakia's uh, Wolverine uh, gallery statue, or something, or what do they call them? What do they call them? Uh, fine art, that's what they call them, fine art statues. So they had, the, it is dope, really badass Wolverine. So they had their setup, it was, it was really, really cool piece. Nice. But yeah, that's that's what I heard. Uh, this place is. But I know it's all the way down here, so I've never, I've never thought to go to go over there. Pedro was like, "Yeah, man, it's around the corner, so, yeah, so he's gonna take us." So now, what's the what's the house? The on destination there? is on your right. Yeah, I think one it's zero eight two four Southwest two hundred. Believe we are here. All right, guys, we finally made it to Miami. I'm here with my boy Pedro. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, yeah. And we are in this awesome collection. This thing, this room is amazing, bro. Just pan around. Look at all the stuff that he's got in this room. It's, it's crazy. We got Eeyore. We got the Ninja Turtles. We got lots and lots of Wolverine. Some Ghost Rider. Some Ninja Turtles on the other side. This place is insane. It's awesome, bro. So let's let's talk about this. Man. How long ago did you get started collecting? Uh... Realistically, yeah, I've loved Ninja Turtles since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, statue wise, I blame my friend because about two years ago is when he bought me him as the first one. All right, which is a great piece, you know, especially with the katana and everything. And he wanted to get an exclusive because I love katanas and and that whole like realm of mythology and right. that timeline. Um, so he started it, and then from there it spiraled out. Is that the exclusive that came with it though, or that's a different one? No, this is the exclusive. That is the exclusive? It was red like that? Yes. No kidding, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, it's red and then his other one's stuffed in there, but if you haven't seen it... 
I never knew it was red. Yeah. Oh, it's got blood stain on it is what it is, right? Or no, it's it's actually like a red. Yeah. It could be blood rolling down from it. That's a lot of blood if it is blood. It's Wolverine. It really would be all over the hands too, you would think. Yeah. That's cool. So, I didn't realize uh, that. That was thought was regular metal. This, uh, and then after that, he, uh, for me, it's either, I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you don't need the exclusive. It's like, if I can get the exclusive, I want the exclusive. Yeah. I'm the same way, even if I don't use it. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, certain pieces you may never switch the heads, but it's the option that it's there for you, right. which is always a nice thing to have. So, it's cool. Yeah, man. So, so that was your first. So then was after that, it spiraled into all of this. The only two years, this, but you've had the smaller stuff. No, actually, after that one, uh, it came to like Tate's. I grabbed him for like 10 bucks, him for 10 bucks. Uh, with Tate 10 sales. Right. You know, they're wonderful because then I got the one back there for like 25. Uh, I can collect on a budget. Let's put yeah. it that way. If you, if you wait, you can get a good deal here and then you can collect on a budget. Um, the Kodobi Key is here. Like, I got one of the, uh, one of the con for like 75. Uh, I scored these two on eBay for a hundred a pop, and that unmasked one is impossible to find because he was only at a winter con, and he's unnumbered because they only release him at a winter con. So getting okay. him was like a, I went to um, past, present, future from Tate's, and I told him I, that I got him, and the guy was like, "You spent how much?" Oh, really? I hate you. <laughs> 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 he just he just hated me on it after that. <laughs> That's dope, man. So man, two years. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, so I went with that Wolverine, and then I went down to the to the Mikeys that I have down there, the old Sideshow one. Um, the one in the front is the uh, first turtle that Mondo T did. Mm -hmm. They had three variants, but I'm, I don't really have a lot of black and white, so I wanted him, and the first turtle being Mikey is always a bonus to me. And That's I also found, yeah, and I found out that that one's actually the one that was produced the least of as well. Out of all three variants, he's the one that was produced the least amount of. Okay. Uh, which is a cool thing to me, especially since Mondo only does one run and done. All right. Yeah. So all the way back here, John, you can see, check it out and get closer. That there is the Michelangelo, without tripping. <laughs> that there is the Michelangelo from uh, the original Sideshow line, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this thing is crazy hard to get the set. So what's we, nice about that set is that if you get all four, they all lock together in the base. Yes. That's something that I've always liked about that one. Yeah. And yeah. one thing I really liked about that is how they attach it to the bases. Two little nuts underneath that actually screw into the pegs to keep it nice and secure. Okay. You know, uh, I always thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, got Nom Nom Fat uh, Chubby Wolf as we call him. Right. I will never get rid of Chubby Wolf. He is awesome. Yeah, he is cool, man. And I, I can't imagine the detail is is. I gotta touch it. <laughs> gotta touch it, dude. That is insane. The texture work on the suit is ridiculous. Oh yeah. Uh, in fact, even in let me just show you here real quick. Get the light. Oh, here, I'll pull them out for you. There's one thing I don't mind doing in my collection is moving it around. <laughs> Man, with this many pieces, I wouldn't want to move it around too much. <laughs> wow. Man, look at that face. And I love how he's got the little, like, the Mexican beard thing going on at the bottom there. <laughs> Man, that is cool. Nothing better than eating ice cream out of Magneto's helmet, right? Yeah, look at that. He's got Magneto's helmet. I didn't even notice that. And if you want, like, the hamburger here does come off. The claws are real metal with him. Okay. So the hamburger just slides on? Yeah. It's uh, it's keyed in there, but you can take it off if you don't want it. But I'm like, it's just got to stay. Look at the texture work in the butt. The pants, this, like, this, like, like cracked leather almost. You know? I know uh, one of the other guys who got this out, he, uh, he made a post saying his brother-in-law had to go and touch it because he thought it was real, uh, real fabric. Yeah, it looks like that. It feels like that. It's, it's funny because you compare it to this one in Sideshow, they have that similar styling, but this one actually looks almost like a real fabric from a distance. Yeah, it's cool. That's an awesome find there, man. Oh, yeah. How many of those did they make? Uh, for him, 150, and I got number four. Alright. So what he did with all of his uh is he includes a card. And this is the message because uh this particular line is for charity. Okay. So all the proceeds on this act are actually going to a uh, charity and they make very little profit out of those. So we're almost paying costs, uh it seems. Not bad. Which is one reason why I support the line, because uh, it's going for a good cause in the end. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh so he was one fifty. Wish I would have got that. That looks cool. 
This one here I've seen before. This is not a custom, right? No, no, that's not a custom. Um, in fact, that was uh, my same friend who got me him. Right. He got me him one year as a gift. He got me him as my... He's so far in advance on his gifts now. That's actually... This is actually my birthday gift for next year. <laughs> I need uh, a friend like him. <laughs> uh, I had a coworker give me him. Um, he does have a bit of a lean, but, you know, I put a little piece of paper and stuff to just try to help out his lean a bit, but he gave him to me because he wanted him to go to a good home. Nice. Uh, I will tell you about this piece. Picture-wise, you look at it, you don't want it. Right. Because I was always on the feeling, oh, I don't want it. It doesn't do me. But when you see it in person... It does it. It has justice. It has it's real metal, cool. you know, real metal claws. It's a nice little piece. has has some pretty good detailing on it mm -hmm. for what it is. Um, it's a five nine. This one is also diamond select as well. Right. No, it's not a heavy piece, but it has it has a solid build to it. Yeah, you know, this isn't uh, res uh, not resin. The other, this isn't a vinyl piece. No, 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 yeah. it's not vinyl. PVC. Only. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah. And, it, and it's true. When you see it in person, it, it actually looks a lot better than it does on pictures. Yeah. And I think it's because on pictures, they, they brighten it up so much, so much contrast, and it just takes away a lot of the detail. This has a lot, a very um, animated, uh, the animated version, like the one from the cartoon, yes. on Saturday morning cartoons, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just That's a little more. reminds me of it. A little more violent. A little more. With the skulls. With the, skulls, <laughs> yeah. with the pose and the look, it, has, it, has a, it reminds me of that very much. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is one that I liked. It's based off of Meltdown Wolverine. So what is Meltdown Wolverine? That one I haven't heard about. Uh, Meltdown Wolverine is, a, if I remember correctly, it's a, uh, it's a comic series with him and I don't want to say Havoc. I, I can't remember the other guy's name who kind of goes nuclear. Uh, it's like the, it's a fight between them. So this is a very animated style of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I remember when I found it on, like I found it on eBay. He's 100% resin. Mm -hmm. I found it on eBay and the guy was like some ridiculous price of like $2,000. And I'm like, that's never going to happen. You know, he had the comic strips behind it. And then I found him on Etsy. There's a guy who has resin kits, and it cost me 200 and he even painted it for me. Right. So I couldn't knock it at that, and he did a fantastic job packaging it and everything, because he never packed anything like this, and he was worried about the claws and the hair breaking. Fantastic packing job. Better than, I'd say, than some of the main companies out there, to be honest with you. He did, a detail. did you get zoomed in on the shirt on this one? Without zooming in, like, come in? You see the way that the fabric folds are on this? That's crazy. So is this this is custom private commission or? It's a it's a resin piece. Uh, you can still get it if you want. He still has them. Um, but this isn't like studio licensed. No, it's a kit. It's a kit. It, it's a kit is what it is. I love the sculpt on it, man. Or is that that's not? Yeah, it's sculpt. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's this is very impressive. Yeah, I mean he did an awesome job with the detail. I mean he went down to the laces and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean that is very impressive for such a small piece. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, he, and I just love his style, you know, it's very different than what you see out there, and, and the first time I saw it, I was like, I want it, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey. Painting piece, too. Ah, I love the face. Yeah, these ones are made, um, it's by, uh, they're commissioned by, uh, Flare Upper. Mm hmm So they did four, they did Wolverine, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, and Spider-Man, but, like I said, Iron Man and Spider-Man to me are just horrible this is solid too oh yeah there's a company that makes a vinyl version of him that's like kind of poseable a little bit very similar but i couldn't justify buying a second one it just wasn't vinyl you know right so and uh wolverine and ghost Rider to me just looked the, looked best. the best yeah i love wolverine that one actually really looks the best the yeah. size oh the way yeah the down. clothes are and everything and i like how the head sits inside of it just if they had light up flames yeah if they had light up flames boom this would be like boom i still want to get it though yeah, it's in this one is uh eighteen twenty nine and two thousand. Two thousand. This one's made two thousand also. I'm looking at yeah. yeah. You got number forty nine though, dude. You get these old numbers, <laughs> man. <laughs> and you know this piece is made like eleven years ago, so I can understand not having a light up, but the acrylic work on this is really nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is probably one of my more favorite Ghost Rider pieces, just because it's it's animated, it's different, you know. And you it, know you got real metal chains on yeah. it. They didn't skimp with it. You know he he holds himself really well. Uh, and it's fun. Yeah, that's, that's a fun my, looking piece, man. I like this one too. That's my thing with them. They're not fun. It's kind of like, what's the point? Yeah, this is really, really cool. Not everything can be custom. <laughs> but you got to come in and check this one out. This one I've been wanting to see for a long, long time. So this is the uh, Claudio Saavedra uh, Wolverine and X-23 diorama. This is supposed to be a quarter scale, but looking at him now compared to two sideshows, 
he's much bigger, much bigger than I than I thought that uh, that it was going to be, much more beefy. That, uh, like I said, well, it's amazing. Really look at the, um, I mean, just look at the size of this head here. Yeah. Look at this. And then I love this head because of all of the, the damage on the face and everything. Look at that. It's crazy. And then you got the other Wolverine head like this. You see? It's got, you know, pull back a better. You can just see the, the size. I mean, it, it's, I mean, the camera's not really showing you what I'm seeing here, but this thing is, is, is much more beefy looking. <laughs> well, here, let's so, do this. Let's detail. give them a really good perspective so they can. Want to take a bring it down there? Yeah, we'll, bring, right. it. we'll bring them down. Yeah, I'll help you, man. I, I probably got the hand in front of the camera, my bad guys. I got him on the side. All right. Not that bad when you want to two people. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that gives you better perspective. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at the size of the sentinel hand here. Look at this. Look at my hand. Look at that. Look, this is the finger. All right. This is the finger. Look at this. This is this is like the baby sentinel. He showed me that. This is daddy sentinel. And then I hunted it down. Baby sentinel. And that's the one that got me. Daddy, <laughs> big daddy. The detail on Wolverine here, with the claws, and the blood on it, and everything is dope. These wires wrap around, you know, and it's it looks like real copper wire that they put in with the with the. Yep, they did use real wiring. Um, like you have it throughout, so you, if you want to kind of make it a little more dynamic, you can. Uh, this is like a real bungee cable wire, and it actually attaches into the base down here. Um, okay. In fact, uh, help you out a little bit of the detail on this guy. All right. Let's, um, badass, man. <laughs> Definitely regret not getting this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get her back up. All right, and we got more Ninja Turtles. So the, the, okay, so the two on the far right there, we got a black and white one, and we got the, the regular one. Tell me about those, because I've never seen that before. Those are from Mondo T. They're okay. called Little Mikey. Okay. Um, the gray the grayscale was a Mondo T exclusive from their convention, and Little Mikey you can get from their website. Now, when I finally discovered him, they were both sold out. Okay. Uh, so they actually have a kind of funny story. So Little Mikey, the green one, I reached out to them and asked them if they had any more in stock, and they said, we do, but we keep them in case we have to do a replacement. So reach out to me in a month. Reached out to him until a month later. Right. Told me, he's like, in fact, I have one. I'm going to give it to you for $10 cheaper because the box is damaged. Sent me an invoice, grabbed him. Right. The con exclusive one, the grayscale one there, um, I didn't know about it. I reached out again. I think like I reached out like, you know, like February or, or whatever the con was again. And I didn't hear anything back. So I was like, okay, you know, limited run. They don't have, I know they do one run and done. Two months later, I get an invoice in my email form from, from Mondo T. I was like, paid, and that's how he showed up. So I was like, I can't go wrong with this. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, all right, so then. So the big guys are the bulkies. Right. Um, I know a lot of people are like, eh, it's, it's a lot of money, but I'll tell you, they are, they're very, very cool for what they are, you know? They're and, much bigger in person than I, than I envisioned them to be. Uh, they are PVC. But there's a lot of nice detailing in them. I like that it has the, um, what do they call that type of painting? Cell shading painting? Yes. Yeah. What's really nice about them is, uh, you know, if you want to put stuff on the front and the back, oh. you can swap them around a swap bit. Swap them around, okay. Yeah. So these are swappable, both sides. Um, what I liked here is that they kept true to the turtles and each one was always a different color. Right. They're always a different shade of green, which they, they did a really good job at doing, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, of course... The part about this is that I was just supposed to be a Mikey only, and then they bust it out with, hey, get all four, you can build Splinter. I like that idea, though. I mean, I know it forces you to buy the rest of them. Yeah. But that Splinter, the, the payoff. The payoff is... is really good. Although, is it just me, or does, does Splinter look a little a little shorter than, than, uh, than the others? He's smaller than the others, right? Yeah, so one thing that we said is that, you know, he's a lot smaller than you were expecting compared. Yeah. Um, but to be honest with you, he goes with it well. Uh, he kind of grows on you from right. what he is. And, I mean, he kind of works. You know, Splinter's an older guy. He's hunched. You know, it, yeah. it, it works. It, it makes it fun. That's that's the whole thing with this. I dig it. I think it looks, I think it looks awesome. Oh, yeah. He, he's a trip and a half. Um, and, then, you know, they have, I tell you, they got some good detailing here. Because even with the Leo, they used, like, a fox leather. 
for okay. his uh for his pieces. Swords go into the sheaths. They sit in the sheaths if you want. Uh, I wish the blades were metal, but they're not. But they're really high polished. Yeah. You know they did a really good job with the paint apps on it. Like how the belt looks. Yeah. It's a throwback to the classic turtles. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, he's got. And I like that they have um, their faces. Yeah. Their faces look different. Well, yeah, they do. Yes. Yeah. He's got more squinty eyes. His eyes are more focused. And you got Mikey with the one eye up. Yeah. I love. I gotta admit, I, I'm a Raph fan. I love that Raph, but the Mikey is pretty, pretty cool looking. Yeah, I have a friend who keeps telling me, you gotta give me Raph. So I, I threw him the box. I was like, here you go, you got Raph. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I gotta get that Raph. What's neat with their boxes is uh, something that they did on the sides is that they put one letter for them each. So if okay. I put the boxes together, it's just TMNT. Oh, cool. Um, That's cool. But I won't lie, these are boxes I'm not gonna keep because these are boxes that are bigger than half the statue boxes that I have. Serious? They're huge. That's crazy. The box is massive. It's it's in fact it's I got all the accessories or, or are they just pack poor packaging? No, no, really good packaging. The weapons are all kept separate. Uh, they're all in their own cubby. The splinter piece is in its own plastic package, so nothing is rubbing. Um, all of the PVC pieces and uh, had plastics on every piece around here to prevent mm -hmm. paint rub. So they did a fantastic job packing them. It's just a really big box, okay. and, and, I'll, and I'll show you one because I still have them. I, I'm not keeping them. I already said I'm not keeping these. I have no point to keep these because I'm not worried about breaking these guys if I ever move them, you know? Right. Uh, I scored one of the, the, the Neo one of a con. The guy gave me a break on it. Um, 20 bucks. You go on eBay, it was like 20, 25 plus shipping. So I was like, well, 20 bucks, I'll take it. You know, I'm not going to go out of my way for it. So, right. Um, so there's them. And then over here is all the entire Loyal Subjects line for Ninja Turtles. Uh, wave one, wave two. Plus all the variants, the metallic versions, the San Diego Comic-Con versions. Um, the four on the end, they're actually at the bottom left. They actually glow in the dark. Really? Yes, they glow in oh, the dark. Oh, they do look at that. Yeah, they glow in the dark. All their weapons glow in the dark. Um, they were going to do a villain's version, but it never came to fruition, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, which would have been really cool, because I would have had like, Leatherhead, Bebop, Rocksteady, Slash, just glow in the dark versions of them. So, But never happened. Yeah, it's cool. And what's nice about them is they have a lot of accessories. They're like super posable. These things have accessories? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's what you see there is how I pose them, and I actually pose all of them slightly different. How many? How many accessories do these things come with you? Look at this one's got freaking Chinese stars. Yeah, that's cool. Um, oh, we got Casey Jones. Look at that. That's dope. So. When I say they come with accessories, I love the portraits on some of them. Like that's got to be who, who's the one with the? It's not smiling there. Don't show the teeth. Uh, that, it's, who's this guy? Which one you looking at? That one. Uh, Raph. Oh, sorry, this one. That would be. Look at the weapons. That's Donnie. That's Donnie. He's got such a serious face. Yeah. <laughs> I would picture that to be Raph to have the more serious face. And those four on the custom you on the end there are actually custom ones that someone did. Right. Fantastic job. Let me tell you, from paint apps to everything. And they, he just took and redid these, like he just grabbed those yep. and then fixed he re, them, right? He re-sculpted them, repainted them. Uh, same thing with the Usagi and the Baxter, because they did not make a Usagi Baxter little subject, so those are customs as well. Cool. And I have to tell you, that Usagi, he came out, he came out really nice. Uh, there you're getting some mini mate uh, blind box, sorry, mega blocks, blind bags uh -huh. uh, for waves one through three. And then uh, the four in the end, you get a Toys R Us. They actually, they're standing on blocks you don't see that have their names on them. Okay. Uh, again, going up, those are the Mega Blocks. Okay. So those are the Mutagen canisters. What's cool about those is that they have two poses. So you got Mikey as a whole, you know, rocker thing, but you can take him off look like a turtle. Right. You can make Baxter look human, make Rocksteady look human. Raph, you, it's a little silicon mask. You can pull it off and take off the coat. Uh, so, you know, they're really cool for what they are. They only did one, one wave of those. Um, those sets are, are really cool, like, with their panels and stuff, and they all lock together to form those, like, battle scenes. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I actually have two more with, uh, that I haven't put out yet, just because I can't display them on the shelves right now. <laughs> um, this is a insane turtle collection. I love it. Okay, Joe man, thank you for, for taking me and showing me around your, your room. This is awesome. No, you're welcome. Makes me want to go buy now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a treat for you if you want it. What you got there, man? This is what I had to go oh. pick up. We're going to do an unboxing? You want to do an unboxing? We're going to do an unboxing. Woo! You'll find out what it All is. Right. <laughs> Mystery box for me. Pedro knows what it is. 
Welcome to the Mystery Box Unboxing at Marvelous Statues. Or is it a statue? Statue. Depending on the, okay, so it is Marvelous Statues. It's a quarter scale. <laughs> Depending on the size, you gotta like call it a different show, right? If it was smaller, it would be like collecting on a budget. If it was a pop figure, all of a sudden it would be what's popping, like a flip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is quarter scale. All right. I'll tell you that much. Um, you can still consider a budget. Oh, this is this is the, the Deadpool, right? Yes. I wore the right shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is the one that goes with the with the Wolverine. Yes. Yep. This is uh, number two in the line. Number two? Yeah. Where the hell did you get this lock, bro? No, no, no. That's the, he was the first one. Uh -huh. Toby Wolf is, is considered uh, not oh, on series one. Number two. I mean, like um, edition size is what I thought you had number two. Oh no, I I, I think this one's like one seventy six. They actually okay. did uh, two hundred and fifty of this one. Okay. So it's about a hundred more ES than what Wolverine was. Oh, I was gonna say I thought they didn't have a tape on it. No, they they packed pack them pretty nice. I hope so because it didn't have the safest trips. But yeah, we'll see in a second. Now usually they are pretty good about getting away with just one cut on the tape. John's like, what on earth is this? <laughs> right. You haven't seen this Robert yet. Ducky? You're gonna like this. Robert Ducky, you're the one. I like the face. Oh yeah, the face is. It, it reminds me of um, Howard the Duck a little bit. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. One of the few Funkos that I do actually own. <laughs> it's got a Howard the Duck kind of face to him. He's a lot lighter than I thought he was gonna be too. But that base is heavy though. Oh, everything's in the base, and he's keyed. Yeah. I like that. He is keyed. The man, right here. I like that the pieces are all. Yes. You can find out where they where it went. You're gonna see with the other one. It's not that way. Uh huh. I I, um, I had to take pictures of it to remember how to get it back into the box. Well, that's the same issue with this one. Like this has. You look at it, and every layer was more and more pieces to to the Wolverine X twenty three Do, and I'll never put it back together. <laughs> oh, <it's> so cool. <laughs> I give it to them. They're very good with their paint apps too. Yeah. I mean, that that's really nice. It's so cool. I'll get some pictures of them and everything. This guy. Same like with um, with Wolverine. It's got a lot of texture in the in the mask. Although the Wolverine is definitely more apparent on the on the texture work. That one that one had there's like deep. Yes, I will agree with you on that. It may just be like the difference in the material. <laughs> He's got ice cream spilled on his pants. <laughs> or, or something spilled on his pants. Gum? Maybe gum? They say it's gum. It's gum, okay. Yeah, gum stuck to his pants. The pouches, everything here is sculpted. Everything shoes. Oh man, it's crazy. I will say though, they did a fantastic job on that base. Yes, with the light, I mean with the, uh, with the clear resin. I know it's hard to see even in person. It's hard to see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's hazy. It's like a hazy. But that's what water would look like, you know. Oh yeah. If you're looking at it through a bowl, and they give it a ripple effect. Yeah. Definitely don't see bases like that. No. Paint looks real clean. Yeah, it's gone over here. <laughs> I don't know how he would be able to reach to that though. Kind of dumb, dumb lollipop. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is so neat. And then the the duck. Here, and we can um, turn the face around. We take a look at the at the rubber ducky that he's on. Uh, look at that face, man. That's precious. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I love it. He's awesome. It's he's cool. definitely a cool piece. He is, man. But see, he's making you think and smile, and that's, to me, that's the point. That's what the point is, yeah, that's what I like about it. That's cool. Man, thanks, bro. Anytime. That's awesome, man.
All right, man, so we just got done at Pedro's house. We're gonna go follow him now to Man Man of Action Figures. I thought it was Man of Arms, but I guess I was wrong about that name. <laughs> so, again, this is a um, action figure place. The uh, right name is it Man of Toys. Man of Toys. Man of Action Figures. <laughs> it's not a toy. It's not a doll. It's an action figure, damn it. <laughs> so, that, that collection of his was dope, man. Yeah, it was pretty cool. A lot of cool pieces. I like, how, that I, I like how he's character specific. Yeah. So, yeah. Like it's mainly Michelangelo, Wolverine. And Man. all different types of, of Wolverine, both mainstream, both both custom stuff. Yeah. Um, and it works. It did. It worked real cool. It works. He has a real fun collection, you know? Because he has those pieces that are just, you know, out there. Like that, uh, that Deadpool he just got and, and the Wolverine that matched up with him. I definitely like the chubby ones. They're kind of fun. Right? They're funny as hell. You know that they make um, chubby versions of the, of the, um, what do you call those those characters? The ad, ad icons? So, uh, Captain Crunch, um, Tony the Tiger, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, you, you make fun of Seth with his pops on getting those things. Uh, would no, no, no. Tony I wouldn't buy statue? those. I wouldn't buy a Tony Tiger statue. But I'm just saying that they make chubby versions of those. And those are kind of cool, in my opinion. I think they're they're and they're interesting. Speaking of which, but yep. even when I go to set, like, does did your cereal inspire you that much as a kid? That's what I'm saying. I, I, it's not something that I would pick up if, if you're if you're into. I would say, man, that guy was like turning wrong. If you were if you were into things that were, um, eh, you know, I could see some people collecting that. I'm not knocking anybody down for, for wanting to collect that, but maybe that's just something that reminds you of your childhood and you want, you know, you have your fond, fond memories of those commercials. I get it, man. You, know? you have fond memories of, you know, digging out the marshmallows out of Lucky Charms. I get it, man. I, I still like Captain Crunch with berries. I do like it. I like Captain Crunch. Yeah. And Captain, and Captain Crunch berries. Yeah, Captain Crunch with berries is it's good. Man of action figures, man. It's, it's in the cut. <laughs> this place is like in the middle of it's not in the middle of nowhere, but it's definitely in the cut. It's in a warehouse district. Warehouse district. All right, cool. Let's check this out. What's going on? So, this was one of our giveaways for our, uh, what was it, the, the December, the, the, the Christmas. Yes. Name right? your favorite. Right. And he actually won the Overwatch figure. So, my brother was the one who was supposed to deliver this, or deliver the other one. And he managed to grab this one, drive all the way down to Miami, and, you know, gift him the wrong gift. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, during a WWE event, mind yeah. you, uh, <laughs> where you have no parking anywhere. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> so this is Man of Action Figures. Man, this is really cool, st all the stuff they got here. This is crazy. Yes, this is a very cool store. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Good, you? Hey, man, how are you? You can definitely Anything find it. particularly you're looking for today? Uh, this is my first time down here. I'm actually coming from West Palm, so I just wanted to, to film to show the guys, you know, what, what this is like. And yeah, man, this is this is an awesome store. This is really cool. cool. That's a nice shirt. Oh, thanks, bro. Mighty Mouse. <laughs> this one here. This this is um. So can't think of the guy's name anymore. Yeah. Um. Is the same dude that did the the uh, the the, the, the one that I, the one that got cut by, right? No. No. The, 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 what was it? The, the apocalypse? The, uh, not the apocalypse, the... Talking about Hulk's, uh... Onslaught. Okay. Is this the same guy did Onslaught? No, this is Avier, though. Yeah, no, this is different. No, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure this is Avier. Yes, I, I, uh, you will find that they will have a couple of custom unique pieces. Yeah. In there. But th this is a private commission. Yes. That's what I'm saying. In fact, if they still have it, they have one on the other side, it's too. It's pretty dope. They got private commissions in the store. It's great. Yeah. If I remember, they, they still have one on the other side, too. Really? Yeah. Okay. How can you go wrong with Mighty Mouse, though? <laughs> Yo, come check this out. They even got a Mighty Mouse figure here. And that's a dope Iron Man, where he's got the, the hero landing going on. Uh-huh. Dude. Man, so Seth was asking me about this place, whether I should come down here or not. You need to come down here, Seth. This place is <laughs> freaking cool. <laughs> Look, they got the uh, K2SO. This is from Sideshow. That, that's pretty neat. I, I didn't think it was this big. You know, really cool. I think this is the uh, helmet of the Hound, bro. Look from um, from Game of Thrones. Javier has that. He has that. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even realize what he's got. Yeah, I know. I sent you a picture about it. Of the Hound, though. 
of him wearing the helmet. Of that, him That's, wearing the helmet. He That's puts just, it on. Okay. He puts it on. He has it that at work. That's big, man. That's big. big. And Storm Shadow. He has that in a, studio? in a gladiator helmet. No, Primal Studio nailed these these GI Joe pieces. And they stopped making that color, that line. Oh, they have um. I like this. Stan yeah, Lee? I like that too. How much is the Stan Lee? Uh, you can ask him. Oh, I'll find out. Yeah. How much is Stan Lee? Yeah. You got like a, a statue here of it. It's pretty cool, man. Got some uh, Back to the Future. That's, I like that. It's cool. That's the Spider Man that uh, Eric has. Seen that in person. Oh, you got Zartan. Oh, really? Man, they got some really old pieces in this place. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Got the C3PO and R2 premium formats down there. Look at the box. It's up for you, George. What's that? Not for sale. If he was for sale, he would be fifty. Fifty dollars? But the owner's probably keeping that one because oh. of yeah. and they're sold out. But yeah, if you give him your number and he sells it, he'll hit you up. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That's the one I think about this. So, I forget, is that another fan art? Did that one? Yeah. No, that's no. the that's the sideshow. That's the sideshow. That's the one that I have, yeah. I don't know, I've seen so many friggin' Venoms lately. Yeah, the, the Hog Goblin is really cool. That's a sideshow too, I think. Or Ring Goblin, sorry, not Hog Goblin. <laughs> Yo, look at that. That lights up, right? Oh, I believe so. Oh. That's the exclusive one that lights up with the Odyssey and Watson and Cyclops. Um, that thing is dope. You see that? I do believe that's exclusive. It's like two grand. <laughs> this is so cool. Man, they got a lot of cool yeah, pieces here. And uh, to be honest with you, the prices are very reasonable. <laughs> you trying to get that ass? You know what I'm saying? It's interesting. Hey, yeah, the Egg Attack Thanos. Yeah. Yeah. They're the ones who do the uh, the Wolverine Cyclops. I like the Egg Attack Iron Man. Mm. Iron Man's always been the ones like, and then the one they have one—that's the one that has the floating one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, those have always been cool. Yeah. Really cool. Man, they got a lot of action figures. <laughs> Iron Man. It's in the name. I know. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't you can't not have figures. No. Besides the Spider Man up there in Secret Wars. Yeah, they have a Wolverine like this all the way over there. Really, really cool. I gotta buy something. <laughs> this is cool. This is what? The, this is from. Um, that's actually that's new. I hadn't seen that before. This is the Mark uh, Forty Six. I think it's a Mark Forty Six, or or a Mark Forty Five. Maybe the, the from. Uh, it's either Age of Ultron or or um, or Avengers Civil War. I think it's Avengers Civil War. Was I think this is the armor that I was building um, before I actually started shooting the videos. I think it'll look good in your office. You should uh, try to yeah, get right? it into your car. Yeah, right. <laughs> if, you, if it was posable, you know, I'd have him sit in, in the back seat. <laughs> i tell you the story I did with this kid, right? No. So, um, what was it? I bought, you know that Spider-Man mask that I wore? Oh, my God. Look at the yeah. detail on that. Too bad it's not Halloween. <laughs> Gruesome. It's in the wrong direction. but Anyway, so the Spider-Man mask that I bought, right? Right. So, uh... I take and, and, and put the mask, or I see this kid walking across the street, and I got the mask inside the car. And uh, he, he has a Spider-Man shirt on, he's walking with the mom. So quickly I put the mask over my head, and then I, I start waving, and the kid looks, because I'm in the front, he's just like, yeah. <laughs> like, Spider-Man's driving day, the car. Bro. Yeah. It's great. It's all about, it's about the kids, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's always about the kids, especially stuff like this, bro. Love it, love it. If you guys need any help, let me know. My name is George, okay? Please. Yeah, my name is George, too. Really? Yeah. Respect. Right. Love the shirt, too, by the Thanks. way, brother. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Volfa Pedro. And you got to get this 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 uh, figure, dude. <laughs> you know, it's funny, too, because uh, in high school, some of my friends gave me, like, the beanie hat and the white shirt. Right. 
I tried to sit down and watch the movie. I don't think I got past the first ten minutes. It's it's okay. It's definitely it's definitely a a, a niche movie. It's I, funny. I hear Some parts are funny. But I, I and I'm all, I'm all open to movies, but I literally sat down and I could not get past like the first ten or fifteen minutes of that movie. I was like, No, I'm done. <laughs> but man, dude, you, you gotta get that that <laughs> You got some dwarves. What do you think, bro? You think I need to get something here from the pop for the pop off? Probably should. What about that glow in the dark sauna? Depends on the price. That's true. Going going crazy trying to keep up with Seth. You could always just tell Seth if I lose, this is gonna happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> carry pop. That's cool, man. This is this but is Seth really goes, cool stuff. Seth goes to the next level pops. <laughs> dude, man, that dude is um, he's, I, he can't keep up with him. And then he and then he, he comes back with those things and it's just like all right, you know you're gonna lose at that point, you know. It's like with the, this past week with the with the Spider-Man mobile. All right. You know, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the full line of Batman that he had. I was like, this is gonna be hard, hard pressed to do anything with that. <laughs> Sometimes no. you just gotta know when to be like. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the face, right? The face is, is cute. Oh, the face is perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, we just got out of Man of Action Figures. This place was pretty damn cool. Lots of stuff in one, in, in a confined space, but a lot of unique pieces, which I think was really neat. Uh, picked up something for my daughter. Picked up something for the pop-off. Uh, Seth, man, you definitely got to check this store out. You know, it's, it's really cool, especially if you're down this way tomorrow when you're at, um, Seth will be at the at, at, uh, Uncle Figs. So, you know, you're in the area. Definitely check this out. I thought it was pretty neat. See what's up, John is starting route to route. We just checked our YouTube page and we hit 5,000 subscribers. What's up? Boom, finally, right? I mean, yeah, I'm happy. Two years, <laughs> <laughs> shit's hard, real hard. Hey, man, but thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. This shit was awesome. That's good news today, you know. After the drive back from, from, uh, from South Miami, I'm a little bit tired, but that got me a little boost right there. Oh, boost. Great. So what are you doing? Huh? Are you take me out for ice cream? No. Why not? Thought you feeling boosted. I am. It's messed up. This is the level of my boost. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Yeah, man. Congrats, man. <sighs> All right, man. That was fun, man. Yeah. Had a good time. Me too, man. I'm trying to. All right. Just dropped my brother off. It's been an amazing day. Got a chance to check out some cool stuff. Now I'm headed back home. My wife took the kids over to the in-laws and we're gonna go try to check out that movie, uh, the new Harry Potter movie, the um, the, the Crimes of Grind Grindelwald or something like that. I think it's what it's called. Hyped to see that, so It'll be a little date night. Haven't had one of those in a while. So yeah, gotta head home real quick. I think we got like a seven o'clock showing. It's gonna be dope. All right, last event of the night. We're gonna go watch The Crimes of Grindelwald. What? Date night. What? No kids. What? We don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, so I ended off my evening by watching The Crimes of Grindelwald, and I thought that the movie was good. It's a little bit slow, and yeah, it left me a little bit confused at the end. I definitely need to do some research on what I saw, so that way I can give a better review about what I saw. <laughs> so if you guys have read the books or seen the movie and you guys can understand what that ending meant, man, leave a description, leave a comment in the description below. Let me know what it is I just saw because after I saw that, I'm just like, you know? So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. It's been a long day. I think I'm gonna hit the sack. So remember guys, if the contest is going on right now for the 5K giveaway, we hit 5,000 subscribers, so thanks guys. Enter in that contest, you get a chance to win a Batman statue or a Psylocke statue or a really awesome, rare pop figure of Indiana Jones. So definitely go ahead and do that. Catch more of our videos at mcecentral.com, you know, from Calvin, Seth, myself, and everybody else. So definitely head over there, check that out. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.